and welcome to a special edition of Let's Talk. My name is Pasini Vithanage and we are here at the Golfers Hotel today with a very special guest from Iran. She has a PhD in Women and Family Studies and is a researcher in Comparative Studies and a Family Consultant at the OM Techno Technical and Vocational University. She also heads the Department of Cultural Observation and Department of Women and Family in Seminary School back in Iran. Dr. Zahari Mirjafari, welcome to the show. Hello, how are you today? Good, how are you? Yeah. In the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful, I'm Zahari Mirjafari. I'm PhD of Women Studies and also I research about the women's situation in uh, Islamic countries. And also I have some essays, uh, especially in domestic violence against women. Wow, nice. Um, so it says that you have published seven specialized family books yeah. and five scientific research articles and ten international conference articles. Yeah. Can you please tell us a little bit about what those are and also what made you get into this uh, field of career? Uh, as I say, my research is all about the uh, women studies and uh, I research about the women's situation and uh, um, domestic violence against women and also about the comparative between Islam and other religion uh, like uh, uh, Judaism and uh, other religion. Okay. So in your opinion, what is the role of women in uh, religion? Yeah. Uh, as you know, the, uh, the religion, uh, also all of the religion has some uh, 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 advices to uh, all people to be honest and be, uh, be uh, reserve the um, uh, all observe all the ethic uh, training and uh, education and uh, it is related to that uh, Islam uh, training or uh, I think it is the best uh, mm, uh, training uh, and uh, it shows that uh, especially about the women situation uh, it, uh, it has uh, many respect to women and uh, mm, uh, advice to be uh, honest and uh, to be uh, in the right way. Right. So what is the position of women in Iran and the world when you, take, yeah. when you compare it? Yeah. In the comparative of uh, women's situation in Iran, most of, uh, um, uh, especially after revolution of uh, Islamic Republic of Iran, we have uh, many changes in uh, women's situation. Most of these is related to after revolution, the women uh, feelings that uh, the atmosphere of uh, society is very um, safety and they can uh, go out and uh, come to uh, the social efforts and most of them know that there is uh, the good uh, atmosphere for uh, social effort and also we have some advices in the uh, saying of uh, our leader Imam Khomeini Rahmatullah alayhi, and also our leader uh, Khamenei uh, uh, says that uh, we have a new uh, models for women activity that we can say uh, it is the third model uh, of activity of uh, women's role in society. You know, the Eastern view uh, or uh, especially or tradition of Easter uh, states that uh, uh, has uh, some uh, women be in the homes and uh, having uh, not uh, uh, and don't have any uh, specific uh, social efforts and uh, Western idea or Western definition about women is that uh, related to uh, women should uh, so be so active in the social efforts and doesn't uh, pay attention to their home and doesn't pay attention to motherhood and marriage and so on. And uh, they are uh, a kind of uh, uh, sexual tools for uh, capitalism. And uh, 
between uh, two ideas or two point of view uh, to the women, Islam says that, uh, or our leader says that, uh, uh, women can be uh, a piety women and be honest and be valid and also pay attention to their home, pay attention to motherhood and childbirthing and so on and also uh, be active in society because the society is related to uh, uh, when society is, is uh, a, a good situation uh, women can uh, go out freely uh, and uh, have uh, social efforts in some uh, areas and uh, uh, you know uh, after revolution we can see that um, uh, our women are very so active in many areas like medicine, like arts, like sports and so on. And now I think uh, we have a good uh, future for women in Iran, but uh, they show, uh, they should show uh, their talents and their abilities and prove that they, uh, the women in Iranian women can be uh, freedom, can be, uh, uh, be active in society freely and uh, uh, they should uh, prove this to all of the world. And I can, they, they can if they want. want to do it, yeah. of course, right. Um, so if I may ask, what made you pursue your career in this field? Is there anything that, um, it, was it the revolution, uh, revolution that inspired you? Is there someone um, in your life that inspired you to pursue this career? Yeah, I think education uh, is very important in this area and uh, all of women should be uh, empower their abilities and um, uh, be educated more than uh, in the past era and try to be uh, very active in uh, many aspects, not uh, in one aspect and they should uh, prove themselves to others, especially to the governments uh, that they believe to them. I think it is uh, important. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on the rights of women in Islam and specifically in, in the Quran? Yeah, uh, Islamic rights of women is very important. Islam. Uh, can, uh, we can say that Islam respect to women because uh, if uh, we consider uh, before the Islam comes in uh, pagan uh, Arabs, uh, we know that uh, uh, they killed uh, women or daughters uh, alive and after the, um, the coming of Islam and Prophet uh, وسلم, Hazrat Muhammad uh, said that uh, to be uh, respect to women and uh, respect to mothers and uh, because of this uh, point of view, Islamic point of view, most of uh, uh, Quranic advice says that uh, you should uh, pay attention to the women's rights. And uh, these rights in uh, Islamic training is very important. Uh, you know, uh, we have some narration from uh, Prophethood and uh, other Ahlul Bayt. Uh, uh, they say that uh, the women's right in uh, so many aspects should be observed. And uh, uh, especially uh, in the divorce, men should observe the right of women and uh, in other aspects also. And uh, they can uh, have own uh, responsibility um, and had, have own um, property. Uh, and uh, this advice is uh, in Islam uh, is uh, about uh, the uh, good uh, situation for women. If they want, uh, they can uh, show uh, this uh, this training, this Islamic training, 
but uh, I think uh, the men uh, in uh, reality uh, should be uh, observed more uh, uh, these rights in their, uh, their homes. homes. Course, absolutely. Think. All right, so we're going to go for a real quick break and we'll be right back. We're back from a very short break and we have more questions for Dr. Mir Jazavi. So, uh, Doctor, Iran histor historically has had a very rich culture of creativity. How do you see the role of women in bringing this culture out to the public? Yeah. Iranian women has many uh, important role in the, uh, developing this rich culture. But uh, you know, most of the, our problem is related to the media uh, imperialism on the, the world. Uh, you know, uh, women's situation in Iran is very good and they can go out very freely and uh, working and have uh, some, uh, uh, some members in parliament and they have uh, many roles in uh, decisions uh, making, but uh, the role of media very, is very important in the world and uh, the propaganda against women is a very uh, so bad uh, um, atmosphere and uh, it has many uh, effects on the challenging today's. And uh, we should uh, try to more uh, narrate from the best example of our women in the world. Uh, we should uh, uh, show ourselves uh, in the media and uh, also uh, we can uh, have uh, many uh, good films that uh, show the, this rich culture in the world. Uh, also because I have, uh, uh, I am a co-worker in filmmaking, uh, especially documentary films, uh, that narrates about uh, the uh, women, successful women in Iran. Uh, that we uh, have uh, very little these narrations about the successful of women and how they uh, can uh, defeat this challenge in the, their lives. And uh, I have some documentary about it, uh, about the successful women in Iran. Can you and I think it is very good uh, narration to show themselves to other uh, culture. So what other kind of uh, creative um, expression of, uh, can women use? Creative ways that women can use to express yeah. themselves? Women uh, have uh, many uh, skills that uh, uh, best of them is to uh, childbearing. And uh, I think if uh, we have uh, bringing, bringing our children uh, in good behavior and they are be a good persons for the future, uh, we as a mothers have been successful in our life. And it has related to their, our sense of life is better if uh, we are uh, in the, our uh, right way as a women. So what do you think about the role of empowerment in women in Sri Lanka and women in Iran since you are, have a background in comparative yeah. studies? Yeah, as uh, uh, I have some research about the, uh, we can say, Eastern uh, countries, women, uh, the m most of the, uh, I have seen, about the, uh, the real of education of women in the uh, violence against women. At first, they, uh, most of the uh, women accept this violence against themselves. And after that, they should know that uh, these uh, related to uh, they uh, prove their abilities to others, especially men as uh, says. And also, I think this, uh, most of feminism theorists uh, 
is about the to empowerment of women only. But uh, if we uh, want to consider, we should notice that both of the men, both of men and women, should be empowered for uh, life skills. You know, most of them think that uh, only women should have uh, these uh, skills and forget and ignore the role and important role of men in these uh, uh, life uh, skills. And I think it is uh, very important to empower both of them and uh, Islamic Republic of Iran or Islamic trainings uh, is uh, as a set of family system uh, that says that both men and women are important in the family and uh, we should empower all of the members of family, uh, not only women and not only uh, pay attention to women. And uh, the role of uh, mother and father very, is very important in the uh, family system and we should uh, try to be uh, skills to both of these uh, gender not only on the women. I think it is very um, good idea to be uh, have some courses for men and uh, try to be awareness themselves about their ability and, and uh, task uh, about women. Okay. Um, how do you think access to education uh, plays a role in empowering women, specifically in Iran? Yeah. Uh, because uh, most of the Iranian people have been educated, uh, especially after uh, revolution, we can say that uh, now the number of uh, educated women is more than educated <laughs> men. Well, and uh, most of universities uh, in engaging in uh, women and uh, women are so active. Uh, and uh, this is, is uh, related to that uh, women should uh, prove themselves. And after this education, they can uh, have a good uh, decision making in the parliament and uh, faculty members, uh, medicine, arts, and so on. Uh, like we can say in uh, many, ad, um, many achievement of Iranian people, we can see in all of aspects uh, that uh, uh, we can see now. They are very achievement, uh, have uh, so, uh, um, in so many, many aspects, like sport, like arts, uh, filmmaking, uh, in medicine, and employment, and so on. We have m many achievements of Iranian people. So, uh, because of the level of education that they can pursue, um, the career choices for them are also available. Yeah. If I'm not right. Yeah. Um, and what about? Um, the role of women at work and uh, at corporates, um, how are they uh, treated as women in, uh, in, in jobs? No, uh, you know, patriarchy is very important in the uh, social efforts and Iranian women has a uh, challenge with this patriarchy. And I think it is uh, in the world, uh, the big challenge about women's situation, especially in jobs, because uh, uh, most of uh, men uh, has this point of view about the women that they are a second sex and they are weaker. Uh, but uh, if uh, we uh, trust to women and uh, have good opportunities for them, we can see that, uh, no, the, <laughs> the world of women is very beautiful and is uh, very, uh, their managing is very good. But I think uh, we at first should trust and uh, we as a women should prove themselves, ourselves. Ourselves, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Um, 
Do you have any advice for women um, on how they can, you know, break these challenges and uh, challenge the patriarchy and kind of, you know, embody their uh, womenhood and uh, basically su succeed in, mm. um, in the world? Yeah, it's uh, related to that. Uh, feminists try to be, uh, say to women to uh, aside their motherhood and uh, housewarking, houseworking and so on, and uh, should uh, exactly on the, uh, pay attention to social efforts. But we know that uh, if we want to uh, be as a good mother, as a good wife, and after that, uh, be active in social efforts, we can uh, have a satisfactory feelings about ourselves. At first, we should have a good uh, sense about ourselves. And if we uh, trust to ourselves and say that uh, if we want, we can't, if we, uh, we want, we can't, and try more and more to uh, prove ourselves, I, I think it, is, it uh, can be easy to reaching the good or high level uh, for women. It is, I think it is very easy, but we should and uh, try and we want. Right. Um, can, we, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your research specifically? What are you currently involved in? Um, and what kind of research you have done in the past? Yeah, I say that uh, I uh, related to uh, especially domestic violence uh, and uh, I also have some other um, uh, favorite work like uh, to be uh, research about uh, women in uh, preaching and women role in civilization and also uh, we can say that uh, women has uh, an important role in the society uh, and uh, I think uh, it is related to that, to uh, women, uh, especially Muslim women, uh, have some uh, more opportunities uh, to be uh, prove themselves and uh, not uh, sexual, uh, uh, not, not be a sexual tool for men, but uh, they uh, can prove themselves that I think and uh, I'm uh, uh, as a veiled uh, woman, uh, my thinking is very important that uh, uh, my body. Right. Um, so you said some of your favorite work, you had mentioned some of your favorite work. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that and tell us uh, a little some, bit more? Uh, I have uh, some translating uh, books and uh, when I have uh, so time, I uh, try to translate uh, texts, especially texts about the women or family system. I translate uh, in English uh, to Persian or vice versa. Vice versa. Okay. Um, what is the most interesting fact or what is the most interesting finding that you might have found uh, during your research? Anything um, particular that strikes and you find interesting? In so many aspects it has, uh, but uh, the different culture in different areas and uh, it has so fantastic for me to be familiar with other culture, uh, other countries, and also to see other countries, uh, and familiar with other group, especially other women. And I try to be uh, more familiar with others in other countries, and, and I contact with them. I have some groups in uh, social uh, networks, and I am, I am contacting with them and uh, share our experience, our, <laughs> our view about the life and uh, our experience. Uh, and I have um, so many friends in all of the world. That's and amazing. It's very <laughs> interesting. Yeah, and I'm sure um, social media has, you know, 
created that network of yeah. people and has bring brought women closer to each other. Yeah. Um, how do you think social media and how do you think we can utilize women around the world can utilize social media to empower themselves? Yeah, uh, it, it is uh, it is easy for women to be at home and have uh, one uh, social uh, networks and uh, to show themselves their abilities, their arts, uh, uh, only uh, everything that they uh, like, they can share and uh, uh, share their experience with each other. And it is very easy to uh, uh, contact with uh, another person in other countries. And uh, I think it is very um, a good uh, situation that um, women can prove themselves and show themselves. But they try to show uh, the positive aspect of their uh, skills, and not negative or um, uh, these uh, abilities that uh, it is related to uh, their bodies, their face, for uh, uh, but uh, achievements yeah, and things that they're yeah. proud of. Achievement is important and their thinking. They can share uh, their thinking about other people, about life, and I think it is the positive aspect of uh, social, tech, uh, social networks. Very, very interesting uh, discussion for sure. We're going to go in for another quick break and we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to the special edition of Let's Talk. We're here at the Gorfis Hotel today. We are having a discussion with Dr. Mir Jafari and we were talking about the role of women um, in Iran and Islam and around the world. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about what Dr. Mir Jafari is doing in Sri Lanka and specifically how her experiences was. Cool. So Dr. Mir Jafari, can you tell us about what you are doing here and how your experience has been so far in Sri Lanka. Yeah. I have a good uh, sense of uh, visiting Sri Lanka because the uh, cultural system in Sri Lanka is uh, so near to cultural system of Iranian people and I was uh, very glad to see this beautiful city, this beautiful country and I think the uh, cultural system of uh, both the culture, uh, both uh, these countries are so near and they can uh, have uh, some uh, good experience uh, for uh, dealing with the uh, cultural system in uh, these works, in these uh, countries and uh, I uh, have uh, some lectures yesterday that uh, we saw um, uh, any other religion uh, like Buddhism, uh, like uh, Christianity and so on. And uh, I think uh, both of uh, countries are religious countries and ethic in these countries are very important. And uh, because of these uh, religious systems, uh, we can say some um, communities between two uh, countries and I have a good experience to be in Sri Lanka up to now. <laughs> up to now. <laughs> um, so you also mentioned that you have been lecturing um, in Sri Lanka. How was that experience? Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, my topic was about the comparing Islam and uh, the West about uh, women's rights. And uh, because uh, it is near to Women's Day, uh, about uh, 11 March, uh, 8 March, I think, <laughs> uh, I suggest that uh, in our religion, the birth of Lady Fatima Salamullah Alayha is the best example of Our Lady. But Women's Day, that it is uh, uh, in 8 March, is related to uh, some uh, discrimination about women 
that they burned in a textile, textile factory. And after that, uh, some revolution uh, occurred and uh, women try to show themselves and because of this discrimination, uh, these days named uh, Women's Day. But we, as a Muslims, have the birth of uh, Lady Fatima Salamullah Alayha, and this is the best uh, example for all of the women, I think. Um, so, in terms of um, in terms of your experience in Sri Lanka uh, and your compa you, you with your background in comparative studies, yeah. um, how would you compare the roles of women in Sri Lanka and in women in Iran? Yeah. Uh, you know, lifestyle, especially in new generation, has changing in both uh, countries. Uh, the lifestyle uh, are, uh, about uh, uh, or by uh, media uh, has preached uh, that uh, the new generation are so uh, changing uh, uh, with modernity uh, systems. And we have uh, also in Iran uh, the most uh, challenging with this area. But I think uh, both of the countries uh, challenging between tradition and modernity. And these two uh, effects uh, have some effects on the society. These two challenging tradition and modernity. And we should try to um, uh, improve our uh, skills about uh, especially modernity systems and try to be uh, honesty and uh, prove on our ethics and uh, our tradition, good tradition that we have. We should uh, insist on our tradition, uh, good tradition habits that we have. Uh, like, uh, can you see that uh, in the uh, tradition, we are very social life and uh, are very have warm family. And uh, the Western idea or Western uh, or idea of modernity try to be uh, humans are be alone with the social networks. They are very alone and um, uh, um, the idea of Omanis uh, or secular is uh, perished by media, uh, especially Western media. And these have some effects on the life of new generation because they say that, no, I'm uh, only, talk, uh, only thinking about myself, not others. But the Eastern uh, experience or ex uh, Eastern uh, tradition is to be uh, social, to have social life and be uh, to thinking to others, uh, especially in the uh, events, uh, huge events that we have, or some uh, uh, diseases like Corona, we can see uh, more people help each other in Eastern uh, culture than Western culture. And I think it is, uh, should be uh, stay on uh, our cultures should be more. And uh, in terms of this research that you have done, uh, and you said you've worked in with research in multiple countries, C uh, care to elaborate on what kind of countries that you've worked with? Um, have you worked with Sri Lanka? Oh, Sri Lanka is uh, near to Iranian cultures, uh, and but. Uh, I think the poverty of uh, some people, especially labor women, is very important. And uh, I see that more of them uh, has uh, hard working, have hard working, and it is not good for family system to hard working women. You know, uh, women should be uh, also they can working uh, in uh, farms and so on. But I think it is very hard working and 
uh, they can uh, be fresh for themselves okay and i think it is uh, a little uh, difference between women in iran and women in uh, sri lanka uh, the women iranian people are so uh, uh, have some so uh, time for their families spend uh, more time about their families um, so any final thoughts that you would like to share uh, with Sri Lanka? No, I think that uh, uh, women uh, uh, in uh, Sri Lanka are very kind and very uh, have a good uh, behavior uh, that uh, they are very warm, uh, warmly and uh, I have a good uh, experience of them and uh, I think that they can prove uh, and develop themselves and uh, show themselves to other countries and inshallah come to Iran and we see more women, successful women in Iran uh, uh, and have some uh, lectures uh, about uh, women, uh, Sri Lanka and women in Iran. Thank you, Dr. Imer Jafari, for being here with us today and for sharing your insights and thoughts. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I also thank from you and uh, uh, this TV, Arta TV. <laughs> Arta TV. <laughs> and also thanks for, uh, of uh, Dr. Dr. Mazami. Uh, and uh, also thanks from uh, the all of Sri Lanka and women in <laughs> Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, people that uh, uh, engaging in this, uh, uh, engaging with us now. <laughs> thank you. And like you said, we would like to specially thank uh, Dr. Moazami, the cultural counselor for Iran, for coordinating this interview. And also, uh, we would like to thank the Gorfis Hotel for their venue and hospitality. Again, I would like to give a quick introduction to who we spoke to today, Dr. Major Fari, who is a PhD, uh, who has a PhD in Women and Family Studies. She's also a postdoctorate researcher in Comparative Studies, a family consultant at the Qom Technical and Vocational University. She has published seven specialized family books, five scientific research articles, and 10 international conference articles. She is the head of the cult Department of Cultural Observation and Department of Women and Family in Seminary School, Iran. Thank you so much uh, for being here with us today again. And we'll see you soon on a special edition of Let's Talk. <laughs>